Hello, students. Hey, I got a question. Have any of you ever done or said something that didn't age well later on? Yeah, I know the feeling. In fact, I got a ton of stuff online that didn't age well, and people can still leave comments on them, and they do. Shit, this didn't age well. This one hasn't aged well. Oh! I got my flu shot, and I can't count for shit. Get that Pfizer money sellout. Leftist straw man nonsense. Yeah, that last comment was on a lesson called Don't Drink Bleach. I guess I was wrong about that, and bleach is completely normal to, to drink. Also, here's this video called Internet Vaccine Etiquette. You can see where this is going. And I don't know what I was thinking jumping on board that liberal agenda to force everyone to go get vaxxed. Nope, never mind. This is a seven-year-old video. Yeah, yeah. In case you don't remember, uh, seven years ago, it was not political to discuss people who refuse vaccines. But now it is, so I get comments like this. Now who is fool? Oh shit, this didn't age well. Well, well, well. And five years later today, I seen them take a lady's kids for not getting the vaccines for something that 99.9% .9 of kids are fine without. Hmm. Man, you fat as fuck now. Okay, I think that guy's saying I didn't age well. You know, I could read this, you little cunt. Let's see what kind of hairline you're rocking at 38. Then come talk this shit to me and post. Pretty sure that response is going to age well when he looks in the mirror on his 38th birthday. Well, that is if he doesn't doesn't die from myocarditis first because he got vaccinated. Well, I would like to preface this video by saying that I'm only human. I can't be right about everything all the time. And I'm certainly no doctor. Yet somehow for the last four years, anytime I make a video, just sort of lightly jabbing at some medical stuff, I, it just, it splits my students right in half. And the, the one half is like leaving support comments, liking the video, saying, yeah, good take, Eric. And the other half is saying, dog shit take, Eric. Dislike the video, no support comments. Like comments like this. Just here for the most recent comments. Still love you, Eric, regardless of this dog shit take. Sorry, Eric, dislike this vaccine at Bill Gates, so I have to dislike your video. Plus one support comment. Okay, you know what? Those guys are actually right in the middle. I'm talking about these comments. LOL, all your vax get the shot videos aged well, didn't they? LOL. I prefer a hook in my face rather than a jab in my arm. You should stop drinking and doing drugs. Blah, 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 not reading this shit. Doesn't matter if Eric gets the jabs. He looks like he's going to have heart problems either way. Oh, this did not age well, LOL. You forgot to make fun of all the young people who died of myocarditis from the flim flam. How y'all feeling after all your jabby jabs? You need to review your work, poser. Liberal! This one aged well, way to go, Vaxemp. To be fair, those comments were on a video called Get a Vaccine, so I may have been poking the hornet's nest a little bit there. Huh, well, it's only for your information. If you care to look, nothing in that vaccine is good for any living human. Yeah, this is only for your information, too. Oh. Oh. I mean, that just didn't age well at all. I hope it's not too late for an apology. Hey, I'm sorry, guys. I was wrong about the vaccine. I don't know what I was thinking being pro-vaccine in 2021. This video aged worse than Dianne Feinstein in a food dehydrator, and it's all because the vaccine didn't actually help anybody. All it did was kill a bunch of NFL players and half the cast of The Wire. These otherwise healthy individuals would be alive today if it weren't for morons like me peddling our leftist agendas to gain clicks and online aspats at the expense of those who like to question modern medicine. And to those skeptics, I would like to say I am sorry. I'm sorry I thought the vaccines were a good thing. And I'm sorry to all five and a half billion people or 73% of the world population who ended up getting that vaccine. It's people like me that convinced you. Now you're all fucking dead. Not me though, because I never got vaccinated. Yeah, I don't put that shit in my body. Anyway, check out my anti-vax merch at neongrizzly.com and I'll see you all at the next bug chasing party. And post that. Well, you know what? Maybe I'm just incapable of making stuff that ages well. Maybe I don't know how to do evergreen content that stands up to scrutiny and changing times while still maintaining relevance to social commentary. Maybe I'm just short-sighted and I don't know where things are headed or how things are gonna change. I mean, for instance, in my Russians dangling off buildings video, how was I supposed to know that this line wouldn't age well? Sorry, Ukrainians. Uh, in this video, you're all Russians. So I hope that's not a sensitive topic or anything. Did not age well, no. Eric, age is mild. Didn't age well. The Ukraine-Russian statement has not aged well. Well, this didn't age well. That opening aged badly. This aged like milk. Shit, man, now I want to 
talk about how it didn't age well. Last time I saw something age this horribly, it was when Charlie Rose interviewed Chris Brown about his love for Papa John's Pizza and Kevin Spacey movies. I might as well be thanking Harvey Weinstein in an Oscar speech the way this shit aged. I have sent racist death threats to ex-girlfriends that aged better than this video. The only thing I can possibly imagine that has aged worse than this is the cum sock I lost in my bedroom 10 years ago. I was blowing so many loads in that thing, I wouldn't be surprised if it died during childbirth. Listen, I'd rather be the try guy who couldn't keep his dick in his pants than the person responsible for this video. And that guy's life probably sucks. Anyway, why is everyone in these comments talking about Ukraine? Did something happen? And post. Okay, but yo, here's my favorite video of mine that didn't age well. Dr. DeWormer. Look, I fucked this one up real bad. I jumped on a bandwagon and I said some mean things about people who take ivermectin to treat COVID. And well, that really backfired because, uh, Look at these comments. This didn't age well. Ivermectin was an effective prophylactic to reduce hospitalizations from the first variant. Well, this video didn't age well, lol. Parrot. I hope your attitude took a real check. People took the poke because of you. You basically committed manslaughter with a smile and a laugh. When is the apology vid come? Can't wait for the retraction on this one. How is this aging so far? <laughs> yeah, they're right. I, look, they're right, dude. I mean, there, there's even a whole video right here that proves how ivermectin works against viruses. Ivermectin has been trailed in treating the coronavirus disease or SARS coronavirus 2 infection, which is the virus that causes the COVID-19. Oh, crap, I can't, I can't believe I didn't include any of this in my video. The trials so far have shown ivermectin reduces the number of cell associated viral DNA by 99.8% in 24 hours. Okay, so that's how it works. You know what, I really should have included this video in my original lesson so that people could see that ivermectin is useful against viruses. That would have been fair and objective of me. Before I get into like the jokes and stuff later on where it has nothing to do with ivermectin and it's really just an excuse to bring back the Todd Clorox character. Oh wait, no, I did use this video. So this ivermectin is a drug thought to block the cargo transporter, which means the virus cannot go inside the nucleus. So it cannot make copies of itself. Oh, interesting. Okay, so that's how it works. Right, so I think this all boils down to a little thing I like to call, you didn't watch my fucking video before you left the comment, which is its own little pandemic. Hey, are you watching this video? Well, then include the word pineapple in your comment so that everyone knows. Ads are too long and not funny. By Hoagie911. Wow, okay, now this guy's just being a hater. Look, I put a lot of work into my ads. I don't know what this guy's... In fact, you know what? Hoagie911, this next ad's for you, pussy bitch, and Raycons. Previously on Mama's Twits. Brother? Hello, brother. Yes, brother. 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 Brothers. And now on to Mama's Twits, brought to you by Rayka. Now, uh, Mr. Mamas asked that his will be uh, read to the following parties. His oldest sister, Diane, youngest sibling, Greg, as well as his identical twin brother, Ardmore. Oh, brother, I told you not to go on that ski trip in the Alps. Who's getting the Bugatti? He better have left me the family business. Who did he leave his Raycon collection to? I don't know. I haven't read the will yet. Shall I? All right. I, Derek Mamas, being of sound mind, declare this to be my last will and testament. I bequeath to my beloved brother Gregory my 2019 Bogatti Devo. Yes! But tell me, the Raycon collection, which one of us is going to get the Raycons? Ardmore, just get your own Raycons. I did, lady brother! I love my Raycons. I went to buyraycon.com slash big money for 15% off site wide. I wear them when I'm hiking through the woods in the Zhongaos. I listen to the top hits of the week. In fact, I'm wearing them right now. Oh shit, I didn't even notice those. What do they do? Can you take calls with the push of a button? Yes, lady brother, look. When I do this, now I'm in awareness mode, which means when I'm in the jungle finding all of my little flower friends, if a puma were to pounce on me, I would hear it coming, I would grab it and oh, A puma? Also, I'm getting hit by way less cars. Don't look at each other, there's more. If I go boop, 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 that turns on my voice assistant. A Siri, call my brother Derek. Oh, wait, he's dead. I'm <laughs> sorry, does nobody want to hear this, Will? Uh, Diane, you'll get equity in his company. How much? Uh, all of it. Yes! Wait a second, Ardmore. 
If you already bought Raycons from buyraycon.com slash big money for 15% off your order, and you're sitting there looking all cool with that next level base, why on earth would you want Derek's Raycon collection? Because... Brother, he loved his Raycons more than he loved even moi. He loved the free sound profiles that match whatever you're listening to. He loved the door be the sweat and water wizard stones. But most of all, he loved the affordability. Are you saying they're not expensive? Is that what he meant? Yes, half the price of other top audio brands. But lady brother, What is this? <laughs> they sound just as good. Okay, uh, just skimming along here, and yeah, Ogmore, you get the Raycon. Oh, oh, thank you, brother. Here you go. Oh, good. Good for you, Ardmore. Looks like we all got what we wanted. Fucking Bugatti time. You know, I kind of want some Raycons. I'm actually really jealous he got so many Raycons. Yeah, he sold me on them. Well, I gotta take a shit. Don't touch nothing while I'm gone. Yes, they have no idea that I was Derek all along and that Oddmore is the one who truly died in the skiing accident. And that's all from Mama's Twins, brought to you by buyraycon.com slash big money for 15% off site-wide. Ah, oh, shit. I just found another video of mine that didn't age well. Internet comment etiquette, avoiding politics. If you're wondering how this didn't age well, uh, it's because of this guy. How to eat chunky soup by Feature Man. And play. I became somewhat addicted to vegetable beef soup. Okay, so if you don't know what's up with this guy, I'm just going to let the comments explain it. I know this was an old vid, but damn, that old man was a PDF file. Oh, Mal, the Feature Man segment did not age well. Hey, that old pedo guy. Old man did something gross. This guy, Feature Man, turned out to be child molester. Cabbage costs 59 cents a pound where I shop. God bless this man, providing sanctuary for folks who just want to see something wholesome instead of worrying about the state of the country for a change. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, I called him wholesome? Well, anyway, here's what the comments section of Feature Man's videos look like now. They are disabled. But as we all know, comments are always enabled somewhere. Typically on Facebook, so here's Feature Man's Facebook page. There you are. Well, let's keep this simple with a quick goatsy. Hey, Feature Man, check this out and post. Uh-oh, hang on, what's this? This was made by fans who lost interest in the admin long ago. People seem to enjoy coming, messaging, and tagging, etc. this page, so I just left it. It's come out Tom Willett is a pedophile. Fuck that. Fuck him. I'm deleting this page. Sorry. Okay, that's a big whoopsie. It looks like I just goatsied an innocent bystander who was running a fan page. Uh... That comment's not even five seconds old, and it's already aged poorly. I, I suppose on a long enough timeline, nothing ever truly ages well. You know, all of our thoughts and opinions, they used to kind of just fade into obscurity and become forgotten. But now on the internet, all that shit is permanent. And every day, something new is becoming poorly aged. Like, do you guys remember when this song was playing in every club in America? It's dope. I'm on. Get retarded. I'm on. Get retarded. Yeah. I mean, like, do I, should I bleep this? What do I do here? Well, this aged perfectly. They made a statement, and the people followed their advice. Twitter theme song. Edit. Wow, this aged well. This aged well. I, I'm not so sure it did, though. Let's get retarded. Yeah. Let's get retarded in here. Really? We're going to act like this was ever okay? Even if this song was written with the utmost respect, there's still no way it would be accepted as a positive depiction of actual mentally handicapped people. Emphasis on people because despite whatever rude lyrics you could put to an infectious beat, these are real people being disparaged and there was never a time when this hadn't aged anything but extremely poorly. Don't bother replying if you disagree. And post! Oh, crap. You know what? If you look at the first letter of each line, it, it, it spells out retarded. How the hell did that happen? I'm just going to edit this comment real quick. Make a couple changes here and there. Okay, good. Now it spells out it started. That'll age better, even though the comment makes no sense now. Yeah, you just can't have offensive words like that in your videos anymore, or else you get in a lot of trouble. That's not going to age well. But you know what ages even worse than words like that? 
broken promises. Here's my video called Why I'm Quitting Sponsorships. Recently, I ended a long relationship with all of my current sponsors. And as we all saw earlier in this episode, that did not age well. So that was a fucking lie. Weren't you signaling again? Damn, I remember when this channel was actually fucking decent, not cut trash. The other day, I learned that GOATSY is an acronym that stands for Guy Opens Asshole to Show Everyone. Now you learn something new, too. Thank God, those skits were way too long and not funny, and I always skip past them. Wait for it, edit, fuck. That's right, that's because he saw this part of the video. I love sponsorships. I love doing them. I'm going to keep doing them. I think that aged great. It's this part that aged like shit. The only difference is now I get to be the best ad man on YouTube and the best Patreon boy. So everybody wins. I'm pretty sure I owe at least one of each of those things. Whatever, it's still worth it for the Halloween short. <laughs> if you are not a ghost, please respond. Ah! Brian, get your shoes on quicker. So, you know, I think it's uh, behooves me to jump in here and, and just kind of clarify my statement a little bit. Uh, so that's what YouTubers do when they see public opinion turning on them. They, they got to write a really big statement that's really smartly written, uh, sometimes by a lawyer. And uh, in this case, I'm my own lawyer. So I'm going to represent myself. Uh, I think I got this. Let's go. I had my first kiss while listening to Let's Get Retarded by the Black Eyed Peas. It was 2004. The mission in Iraq was accomplished and our troops were due home any day. I was going to prom with the hottest girl in school, Lacey Jones. First, I picked her up in my Nissan Cube to go watch a movie before the big party. We saw White Chicks and it was the funniest movie I'd ever seen in my life. I gotta rewatch that one of these days. Anyway, prom was amazing. I was still in my punk phase, so I went to prom dressed in high ankle jeans, white button up shirt, red suspenders, and Doc Martens. Oh, and also my head was shaved. Lacey wore a kimono I bought her at Banana Republic. She looked stunning under the spinning lights as all of our friends danced around us. When our lips touched, I thought about the future we were starting. Marriage, family, the both of us getting jobs and buying the biggest house we can afford in 2007. It all seemed so perfect in that moment. Two weeks later, she started dating Jerry Seinfeld, so can't compete with that. Coney 2012, and post. Okay, well, this was a fun stroll through memory lane, and I got to come to terms with not making content that ages well. The both because of us getting jobs, well. buying the biggest house well. we can afford We in all become dirt in the end, of course, to fertilize the growth of what's to come, but it's, it's important right now to take a look around and just realize this is all exactly as aged as it needs to be right now. And that's all that needs to matter. So thank you for watching. This has been Internet Comment Etiquette. And oh, if you have watched until the very end, make sure to leave a comment with the word elephant in it, not pineapple. And that's how we're going to find out which of you fucking r**ks only watched half the video. Good night. Big money, Salvia City. We're in big money, Salvia City. Big money, Salvia City. We're in big money, Salvia City. Hey there, folks. You want to know what's always going to age well? The merchandise on the NeonGrizzly.com store. These shirts are probably going to outlive you, motherfucker. This is high-quality cotton, and we're talking Shazam shirts. Hey, remember when Alf was in Shazam? Or maybe it was Will Smith. I don't know. We're selling all these. I'll tell you what. My ex-wife hated this shirt. She hated when I wore it around. Bunch of frogs on top of each other. A little gay frog pile. But guess what? She's not in the picture anymore. Now she took that opinion with her to the bottom of the ocean off the back of my boat. Big money,